Hey you guys, it's Brie tonight. We're here to talk about Gypsy Rose. She posted a new video that I thought was um, basically just proving my point yet again. So we're going to go over it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so of course we're going to react to the video together just to have a few laughs. And, you know, her, her video is about her trying the pumpkin spice latte. And of course she had to put a disclaimer because she knows that when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to be taking in um, large amounts of caffeine, which, you know, a lot of people, if they do go to Starbucks, they'll do a tall drink or maybe get a decaf. You can get almost everything in Starbucks in a decaf version, but her video says, tasting my first Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. Disclaimer in all capital letters. Women who are pregnant are allowed to consume a maximum of 200 milligrams of caffeine per day. Caffeine is considered safe in moderation. She hashtags herself and hashtags Ken because as we know, they are on the quick train to become family vloggers and exploit their child that is incoming. That's very, very clear to see. So first I wanted to see how much caffeine is in a grande pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. And it says that it's approximately 150 milligrams of caffeine. I just like to fact check these things just because Gypsy Rose is a known liar. Her and Ken each got one. She got the iced, he got the hot, and it was quite a fiasco. So let's play the video before I make everyone fall asleep and then we'll get in with final thoughts. Good morning, y'all. So today I am going to get my first pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks. Hi, good morning. Can I get two um, grande pumpkin spice lattes, please? Is it two grande pumpkin spice lattes? Are they both hot? Um, or iced? I want mine iced. Uh, one, uh, uh, both, uh, actually one hot, one iced. Gotcha. Anything else for you today? <laughs> All right. Got it? Boom. Thank you so much. Okay, so I got the pumpkin spice latte uh, iced. Oh, that is good. All right, I'll try the hot one. Like the ice one. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to get in the way of your stick. All right, I don't want to burn my mouth. usually avoid being this petty but when you combine her constantly licking her lips with that quick little thing that she does combined with that Muppets like laugh it really bothers me and I, I it's a personal problem I'm gonna have to get over it if I'm reacting to her content I know like get over it. it's not the big of a deal but I know a lot of y'all feel the same way and initially I was like well you know, maybe people are just being too hard on her, but I see exactly why it sends some of y'all over the edge. It's both of those combined, and when it's done back to back, ooh. Now, maybe if it was like cold day, like a cold day, mm -hmm. the warm would be better. Right. But it is Southern Louisiana, so I do like the it's ice. It's only spray. 82 degrees out at 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Only 82. Two hours later. <laughs> Two <laughs> hours later. <laughs> you ever seen those videos? <laughs> yeah, you know where that's from? No. It's from SpongeBob. Oh, I've never seen it's SpongeBob. Like the French, the French I did two hours later. That yeah, that, that's the boys. Yeah. I've never, uh, I've never seen SpongeBob. Last with me. Disney. Girl, be so for real. You haven't seen Spongebob? Spongebob was popular when I was much older, but sound off down below. Has, am I crazy for thinking that most of us have 
at least been aware of what SpongeBob is. And when you watch those videos on social media, you know that it's from SpongeBob. It's the same font and the same graphics. I don't know, whatever. That's here nor there. And like, what's that one that like, uh, the pa Power Puff Girls is playing on? Yeah, it's Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, some Cartoon Network. The sugar spice and everything. Mm -hmm. You've never seen that for real? No. You were robbed of a childhood. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Just now realizing that? <laughs> Anyway, so that's what she's calling content. I guess that's what she's going to label as her um, awareness. Oh, I unalived my mother. I had to go to prison because I unalived her and I used an autistic man to carry out the crime for me. I got much less time. I came out. Now I'm a popular, um, infamous social media influencer so we're gonna do things like let's try starbucks let's try crumble cookies watch me try to do my makeup because i don't know how to do my makeup is that the kind of crap that she's gonna put out and then say oh well it's awareness i'm spreading awareness um as to like how i'm how i'm being an adult because i had to go to prison and i am alive with my mother like what what is the end game here? What is the shtick? What is going to happen? I, I hope that, I want to say this. I hope that all of her fans that have been so harsh against commentary channels and people giving gypsy criticism, those fans that are like, oh, how dare you? How dare you not allow her to come out and live her life? And if people want to watch, then that's their business. I hope that all of y'all can have a huge seat immediately because what is going to happen is exactly what a lot of us have said and that is she is going to exploit this pregnancy and then she is going to immediately go into exploiting this child i said if the child is lucky the child's face might be blurred for a little while i guarantee when this child is born gypsy rose is going to work with people Magazine, TMZ, Us Weekly, um, whatever trashy tabloids are out there. And whoever is the highest bidder is going to release the photos of the baby. And her and Ken are going to do a photo shoot. It's going to be all professional and she's going to get paid money for it. And that is the way that the world is going to see the first images of this child. And once those images are published through whatever magazine, whatever article she can get paid the most for, that's going to come out and then she's going to immediately say, oh, well, People Magazine or whoever, we did that photo shoot. Everyone knows what the baby looks like now, so now we can put the baby in content. And I know the people are really interested in this child and, you know, kids pay because it's a sick world. So that's going to be the way that she enters into being a mommy vlogger. I guarantee it. The other thing I want to say is this Starbucks video was very lackluster and boring. Like this is not the kind of content that I would gravitate towards. Even if I liked the person, this would just be a run of the mill trying a coffee drink video for me. It's not interesting. But what I would like to hear from y'all is that if you have had children, how do you feel about sugar and caffeine and all of this, especially considering that we know that Gypsy Rose has this chromosome disorder, it's been said that her pregnancy could be high risk. How do y'all feel about that knowing the background on Gypsy? Does that influence the way that you look at this? How do you feel? I just want this comment section to be uh, a place to have a conversation of course all opinions are welcome if you think this is like totally no big deal this is amazing good for her sound off down below if you can't stand it and it makes your you know if you give if it gives you goosebumps down your spine when she is constantly licking her lips and um doing the muppet laugh then sound off down below too i get it um but yeah i guess that's 
the lie that she's going to tell now. Oh, this is, I, I'm spreading awareness as to what it's like to re-enter society. Guarantee it. And she'll use that until the photos are released of her child and then she'll be able to go into mommy influencing. And I think it's all sick and twisted as per usual. But I'll let y'all go. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.